2018 Porsche Macan facelift spotted ahead of April reveal. The Porsche Macan will be revealed in facelifted form this April, and new video footage of the test car shows the design changes to expect. To on UK roads in September, four years after the first Macan landed here, the refreshed Jaguar F-Pace rival will remain on sale until 2021, when it will be replaced by a new model that offers, among other engine options, full electric drive. The stylistic changes made to Porsche's best-selling model are subtle, to say the least. Evident on the prototypes shown here are restyled front and rear bumpers with new look air ducts. The front indicators are also mounted lower than that of the current model, on the lowest horizontal fin of the outer front air ducts. The Porsche SUV also receives upgraded headlights with altered LED graphics. Although the overall shape of the headlight clusters remain the same as those in use today, the Macan was the first Porsche to adopt structured tail light lenses. Those on this new model are restyled with new LED enhanced lens graphics and what appears to be a full width reflector panel across the tailgate, a design feature that has already graced a number of recent Porsche models. Although the facelifted Macan was originally expected to receive an updated interior featuring the touch-sensitive switchgear introduced to the latest Panamera, the prototype pictured here gives no clues that it will head in that direction, retaining the same controls the Porsche SUV was launched with back in 2014, but with another three years before it is due to be replaced by a comprehensively re-engineered second-generation model. We would be surprised if the new capacitive switches didn't make their way onto the 2018 Macan. What we can bank on is the adoption of a pair of new 7.0-in displays within the instrument cluster, together with a 12.3-in touch-sensitive infotainment display as part of an updated Porsche communication management system. The system, launched in the latest Panamera, supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration and contains a new function called Porsche Connect, which offers services such as call center support, a Wi-Fi hotspot, real-time traffic updates and remote access via smartphone. On the engine front, the Macan's existing turbocharged 3.0-liter and 3.6-liter V6 petrol engines will be replaced by more advanced units boasting capacities of 2.9 liters and 3.0 liters. In 3.0-liter form running a compression ratio of 11.2 to 1, the new V6 delivers 325 bhp and 332 pounds foot of torque in the base Panamera. This is 10 bhp and 7 pounds foot less than the least powerful version of the outgoing 3.0 liter engine, which serves up 335 bhp and 339 pounds foot in the existing Macan S. There is more to come from the new engine, though. With altered software liberating added turbocharger boost pressure, the same unit kicks at 349 bhp and 369 pounds foot in the latest Audi S4 S5. A more performance-oriented version of the new V6 with a lower capacity of 2.9 liters and compression ratio of 10.5 to 1 is earmarked to replace the current 3.6 liter engine. In the Panamera S, it provides 434 bhp and 406 pounds foot, 39 bhp more than the existing Macan Turbo, with the same torque output. Also planned is a new petrol-electric version of the Macan running the same drivetrain used by the Panamera 4E hybrid. It uses the new turbocharged 3.0-liter V6 battery engine in combination with an electric motor to provide a combined system output of 456 bhp and 516 pounds-foot of torque. Porsche Cayenne, Cayenne.